Hello guys, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and started up the second case. We arrived at Maya's hometown of Karine Village, and we met some of her family members, as well as Dr. Turner Gray, who is certainly a character. Anyways, this time I'm going to go ahead and examine some stuff because I forgot to last time. There's some empty space behind the folding screen. The light of the candles can't reach back there, so it's completely dark. This this folding screen is really showing its age. All of its edges are a bit tattered. The lettering is fading, too. I think I recognize a few of the char characters on here. ku ra -een. Pretty sure that's what it says. Maybe I'll ask Maya about it later. I guess this is an altar. Whatever it is, it feels very important. A mirror-like object with a cloudy, reflective surface. And some branches of a sacred tree have been set in a predetermined arrangement. Good sir, I wonder if you would please not touch the sacred objects. Those objects are being offered to the spirits. If you were to touch them, good sir, they would become cursed. Yes, cursed! You really didn't have to talk down to me. Not that much of an idiot. This is where the medium sits, I assume. There are four panels of this flooring. The straw in the flooring feels a little damp, probably from the humidity in the air. Is this the same text over here? Yeah. The meditation room is on the other side of this very heavy looking door. There is a giant iron lock where the handle is. It feels like a curtain that separates the normal world from the spirit one. That's all we have to do there. Let's head back to the meditation room and examine some stuff here as well. This door leads out to the winding way. The weather outside looks really nice. Someone with a lot of skill wrote these four Chinese characters with a brush. Oh look, here's a translation. Once in a lifetime. Its message is its people should value their ghostly meetings as once in a lifetime chances. A door that leads to the channeling chamber, the place where spirits and people meet. The iron in this door was tempered, making it very solid. It looks like there's a strong lock on this door to top it off. A piece of cloth with a ton of finely written characters jammed onto it. Probably esoteric knowledge only mediums would know. Let's see. Here's one in English. It says, A hundred ways to save money. Being a medium sounds like a rough way of life. So now we move out onto the Winding Way. It's the only place we haven't been so far. June 19, Fay Manor, Winding Way. Wow, this garden is really breathtaking. Someone put a lot of love into it. What is that over there? Is that an incinerator? Looks a little out of place in a garden like this. It's a small incinerator. I don't think garbage trucks come all the way out here to a little village like this, so every family has to burn their own trash. It's a really old urn. The ashes of a person long dead are inside. Looks like something with a long history. Other than that, it's not very interesting, so time to move on. Splendid garden with a small lamp and, a tradi and traditional decorations. It's a bit small to walk around in. Although, that incinerator piques my curiosity. We already examined that. It looks like there's a room over there, too. A peaceful feeling is emanating from it. Let's go ahead and check the map real quick. That's the side room, which is pretty aptly named. Let's head on over there. June 19, Fay Manor, side room. So this is... The side room. Looks like it's more of a break room. There's bedding spread out on the floor. Looks like someone's sleeping in one. I shouldn't disturb them. So this... Uh, little figurine right over here. It's a decorative wooden bear sculpture. 
There's a plate attached to the base. Karine Village, the heart of Chandling. What the? It's a souvenir. So does this mean it's easy to spot bears here? And for them to spot you? Ugh. So, you probably won't remember this, but in Ace Attorney 1, this figurine actually appeared in Grossberg's office. So, he got that from over here in Karine Village. Very interesting. Just shows how connected he was to the Fey family. It's a small alcove. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean or symbolize. If I had one of these in the office, it would end up as a storage space. But here, it's decorated with some pretty flowers and a beautiful hanging, hanging scroll. No clues here. Okay. There's bedding spread out on the floor. Is that someone sleeping in one over there? She's probably an exhausted medium taking a break and catching some Zs. If I wake her up, she might be grumpy and throw a spell on me. <laughs> it's probably a good idea to not disturb her sleep. And this is the first time I've seen a sliding door like this in person. From here, I can see the winding way and the little garden in the courtyard. So, not much happening over here. Good to keep this room in mind for later, though. Hey, you! Hold on! Now, this gal's got a few questions to ask. Hmm. I'm sure I've heard that southern accent somewhere before. Oh, well, I'll be! It's Mr. Phoenix Wright. How you been? Haven't seen you in, what, a year? Um, you are, uh... A lot of hair, a lot of heart, or who are you again? I believe you get an achievement if you choose a uh, lot of hair... Do you want to be funny, or do I want to be nice? Let's be funny. Um, lot of hair, was it? L lot of who? Wait, you better not be making fun of my hair now. Uh, no, um, I wasn't making fun. I was complimenting you on your fine hair. Hmm, <laughs> I dare say you're one heartless man, Mr. Wright. It was good of my testimony that your friend got out of being guilty. Uh, that's technically true, but... Uh... But it looks like you already forgot that. Hold up. You were working with the prosecution at first as one of their witnesses, and came after us as if we were a piece of sirloin steak. Minor detail, stop being so up tight, letting things get in the way. The name's Hart, a lot of heart. Don't you go forgetting it. Oh, yeah, that's it. Now listen here, I'm here to talk- I'm here to take some pictures today, gotta give myself a real scoop. Ah, uh, so I guess you're still at it. Being a photographer, I mean. You betcha. I'm the hardest working one out there, I reckon. Didn't I say I was going to make a name for myself as a famous paranormal photographer? That is actually following up on her character arc from the end of the first game where she took a picture of all of us standing together and she caught Mia in the photo. And so that's actually pretty clever uh, as a way to bring her into this case. Oh, that's right. This ain't no time to be wasting time. This channel is about to get started. Is it that time already? We should all hurry up and get to the meditation room. What are you waiting around for? Come on. A lot of heart, huh? I've been judging her harshly because of that case. But I guess looking back, we had some good times too. Uh, maybe. June 19, Fay Manor, Meditation Room. We will now begin the channeling. Mystic Maya and honored guest, please proceed into the channeling chamber. With this, I can finally swat all those pesky flies once and for all. You hear me? They won't be able to say the single bad thing about me after this. You would love to hear them apologize, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, Mr. Wright? Me? Oh, uh, yeah, I sure would. Mystic Maya, do you have the channeling chamber key? Yep, right here. That is most satisfactory. That key is one of a kind, so please take care of it well. It'll be fine, Aunt Morgan. I won't lose it. Trust me. Okay, Dr. Gray, let's get started. Finally, let's go! Now, let us wait patiently out here for them. Please have some lovely bitter green tea, 
and jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. Hold on now, Granny. Granny? How come we ain't allowed in the room? Dear Madam, you have an impressive grasp of English. From where did you learn it? What? I'm from the heart of the heartland. Is that so? Then I humbly request that you return to this heart of the heartland. What are you? This is Kurain Village. If you cannot follow our traditions and rules, we request that you leave. Sorry. Wow, she shut Lotta up. Now that's impressive. Now then, let us wait. Hey now, what was that just now? Came from inside the channeling chamber. Hey, hey that's a gunshot. Excuse me? I've heard that sound before. It's a gunshot. I bet my afro on it. M Maya. Maya's in there. Well, Miss Eloia, what's the plan? What else? We're gonna break in. What? But, but there's only one key and that kid's got it. I'm gonna have to break the door. Is that alright, Miss Faye? Well, yes, but there is one matter. That is, don't try to stop me. You can send the repair bill to the Wright & Co. Law Offices later. Yeah, now that's what I call being a man. Dr. Gray! I... I was... murdered. M Maya? That man... murdered me. So I killed... him. What? Lotta! At a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. But anyway, what's going on here? This gal, is she... Maya? Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. But, 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 hurry before there are more victims here. Hey, let's go, Cedar Boy. Leave this to the granny. June 19, Karine Village. My cell phone doesn't get reception way out here. So I ended up using the phone booth to call the police. And? They're on their way. That's good. Lord, I, th I saw a genuine mysterious phenomenon. She seems really on edge because of all of this. Not that I blame her. I'm scared to death by what's going on. Have you seen my attorney's badge, though? <laughs> Hey, they'll be here soon, right? The police, I mean. I reckon you should be getting back to the crime scene now. Yeah, I guess so. Can I present to you? Nope. I mean, I'm sure you have some talking points, right? What you witnessed? Hey, mister. That gal, Maya. She wasn't the one who pulled the trigger, was she? Oh, yeah. Lotta doesn't know that when Maya is channeling... Her whole physical appearance changes. Then again, weren't there only two of them in there? I reckon she must have done it then. Lotta, what do you know about Dr. Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. That's one gent with a bad reputation. Really? I hear he's good at surgery and stuff, but his personality stinks like wet sheep. I sort of got the same impression myself. He's real controlling. As soon as his nurse or patients don't do what he says, he starts a hollering. Must have been real tough to work for him. Not much we can do right now, so let's do what she said and move back onto the crime scene. Ah, Mr. Wright. M Miss Faye, how's um, Mystic Maya? She has returned to this world. The spirit severing technique was successful. Let me see her, please! She is still unconscious. I humbly request that you wait outside for her recovery. Guess I just have to wait. Ugh. The police are here! Sorry to keep you waiting! Huh? You again! What are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? 
It's actually kind of funny. I was in the area for a business trip, pal. Well, uh, time to check out the crime scene. I'll have to question everyone here later on. So just sit tight, alright? Why is he grinning at me? Shall I show you to the scene of the crime, Detective Jim Shu? Um, my name isn't Jim Shu. Uh, serves you right for all the times you accidentally called us hairy butts in the previous game. The two of them went into the channeling chamber. I guess all I can do for now is see what everyone else has to say. Let's move back to Karine Village. Uh, June 19, Karine Village. Maybe this time we can actually get something out of Lotta. She's probably scared out of her wits after having a murder take place right near her. Lotta? Gow, don't let it be me next! Eee! Don't scare me like that! What do you mean? You're the one scaring me! If I weren't so tough, you'd have, have another dead body on your hands. Mine! Any ideas? Did you see or notice anything that stuck out at you? Nah, well, maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor stomach's not good at handling this kind of thing. Uh, what? Curses and ghosts and stuff come back to get you. This is just too much, I say. What is too much? Being an occult photographer. That's some scary stuff, so I think I'm going to try being a celebrity photog photographer now. Going after photos more within your reach from now on? More glamour, less gore? What's up? Oh, yeah! W what is it? I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. Ah, she did. Two, even. The seance murder. I sure like the ring of that. It'll be a sensational story. L Lotta. Sorry, but my journalistic sense is burning inside me. I hate to cut and run, but I'm heading back in. Gotta beat those cops to the scoop of the century. Wow! <laughs> don't know who's scarier, Lotta or the spirits. Why does it feel like we've been through this before? She's doing the same exact thing she did last game. <sighs> Anyways, how's the crime scene going? June 19, Fay Manor, Channeling Chamber. The police are busily running here and there, and I don't see Maya anywhere. Hey you! Don't touch anything! Look, I really need to ask you some questions. Um, don't look at I me mean, like I'm some sort of uncaring jerk. Tell you what, pal. I'll let you ask me a few questions, alright? Alrighty. First of all, have you seen my attorney's badge? Uh, I'm really busy right now. I can take a look at it later, alright, pal? Didn't even take a glance at it. Have you seen... you? Okay, I guess not. What's going on? Maya. Um, about Maya. I hate to break it to you, pal, but, uh, with the way things are looking now, that girl's the only one who could have done it. Yeah, only Maya and the victim were inside this room, after all. But Maya is... You can ask more about it later, pal. Right now, I've got a job to do, and that's collecting evidence. Detective Gumshoe looks like a real professional. And yet, something about his expression still looks the same. So, Dr. Gray was shot with a gun, huh? He was shot in the forehead. But... But? But he was also stabbed in the chest with a knife. A knife? You have to be in stabbed, the final blow was a shot from a gun. Jeez. Ugh, that's a pretty rough way to go. Anyways, with a horrible murder happening and Detective Gumshoe, best ace attorney character, arriving on the scene... I think it's about time to end off this episode. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!